In this video, we're going to show you how to add a class. And this is going to be kind of the quick version for those of you who have done this before and have some experience with Inside BC. So I'm going to start at the Bakersfield College website, like you see here, and then I'm going to come up to Inside BC. And then it's going to log me in. And now I'm going to go over to My Band Web. And when I click on that, I can come down here to add or drop classes, which you're probably familiar with. Now I want to say a word here first. If you have not done your update form for this semester, go ahead and click here and start here. But if you've already done that, go ahead and go to Add or Drop Classes. After I click Add or Drop a Class, I'm going to be taken to this screen where it says Select a Term. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu just to see my terms and I see Spring 2022. I click on it, it shows up right here and I click Continue. Now it'll think for a minute, and now it takes me to the screen where I can actually add or drop classes. And there are two ways that you can do this. I can find classes by searching the subject and the course number, or just the subject, which is what I'm going to do. Or in the second tab, I can enter CRNs. So if I use the look up a course feature, or I just know the CRNs, I can enter those right here and add. But I'm going to come over here, and I am looking for an anthropology class today. So I'm going to start typing in anthropology. I don't get very far before that pops up for me. So I click on that in blue, and now it shows up here, and that's what it's going to search for. I'm not going to enter the course number. Let's say I don't know it, or I just want to see what's available. So that's good. I could click search, or I can go over to this advanced search to add a, a few more filters. And this is kind of hard to see, so I'm going to toggle this bottom part off by clicking this arrow. And now I can see the most of the screen. So just a couple of things here. I can select campus if I want to, like let's say I know I want to take a, a class on BC Man campus. Now I caution you here that if you do that, you won't see any classes that are nearby or online courses. So you might not want to do that. But for college, you can click this and choose either Bakersfield, Saracosa, or Porterville, whichever is your home college. And then you can also, if you want to go to specific days, you can select that. Now that might limit you, especially if you're looking at a class that doesn't have a lot of sections offered, so just something to consider. But I do want to click this Open Sections Only, so I'm not seeing a bunch of sections that are already closed. And then I'll click Search, and let's see what we get. So I see the title here is Physical Anthropology. Uh, my subject is Anthropology, and it's, it's B1, and that's what I was looking for. So let's just see if this one works for me. I'm going to see, oh, instructor, there's no information here, but meeting times. Okay, so this one's Monday and Wednesday, meets from 1 to 2.25. Now there is more information that's hidden here, and I am going to pull this bar a little bit so I can see more. And I see that it meets in the Math Science Building, it's room 28. This is really important. Its start date is 1.15, end date is 5.13. Okay, full semester class. Now I'm going to pull this close so I can still see the rest of my information. So campus, again I can adjust this BC main campus, that works for me. Now I want to pull this, oh for some reason this one is not available, let's check this next one. Uh, it's also Monday and Wednesday, this one's 2.35 to 4. Okay, I can do that. And again, I believe it's BC main campus, but let's just check, yep. Alright, now over to the right I have this add button. I like this one, I'm going to go ahead and click add for Anthropology B1. All right, now my schedule pops up again. That, that thing that we toggled off, it pops up, but this isn't the class I added. That's public speaking. Let me scroll a little bit. Okay, there we go. It's right here. You'll notice it's kind of in gray and white. And what that says to me is I'm not done adding this. Um, it is a class that's pending. And if I go to the top of the summary on the right-hand side, that's what it says. Status pending. The action's web registered, but this class is not on my schedule until I hit the submit button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Let's see what happens. All right, now this status changed to registered. Now that gray and white became this lovely green color with a green check mark that tells me that was successfully added to my schedule. And that's all you need to do to add a class.